Also, since my son is instrumental in getting me to vlog again, let me tell you about what happened this morning. So we went down to the car to drive off to work. We go off to work as a family. Adeline and Seth, my wife and son, often fetch me off to the office. We have breakfast together. I go off to work and they go off to go about their day with errands or classes for Seth, etc. So we got into the car this morning and Adeline turned the key and the engine just choked. It made that little squeaking sound that engines make the electric starter actually when the battery is out of juice. So the battery was out of juice and the car wouldn't start. So I looked up at the ceiling light and the ceiling light was on. And then we started saying, who left the light on? And Seth owned up with uh, some trepidation, I must admit. He said that he left the light on because he was trying to stick some stickers in a card yesterday, last night. And he needed the light and he turned on the light and left it in the on position so the battery was out of juice this morning. So I told him that it was, yes, definitely annoying, but that I was glad that he confessed and he told the truth, which was a bold step, a moral step, a right thing to do. It showed character and it showed leadership. So I was very proud of him for that. So... Here we are in the morning and I need to go off to the office and the engine wouldn't start, which was a bad thing. And then I found that the light was left on, which was uh, an annoyance. And then Seth told the truth and took responsibility for his actions, which was a really great thing. And then we got the battery fixed. We called our mechanic who came after some time and helped us to jump start the battery and then on the car was running fine so it wasn't a big thing but uh, anyway we got it fixed and after we got it fixed we went to have some early lunch together and then off to the office with me so mixed feelings right that's what uh, my cousin said when I told her this story. Mixed feelings. And our days are like that. We have mixed feelings because we have mixed outcomes. Good things happen, bad things happen. At least from our perspective, things that are good and bad. What we think are good and what we think are bad. But uh, in the end, it's up to us what we choose to dwell on. To dwell means to live. So when we look at what happens, we try not to be pessimistic and just look at all the bad stuff. We try not to be delusional and just look at all the good stuff. We look at good, we look at bad, we look at positive and negative. But what makes the difference is not what we look at or what we see, but where we choose to dwell. So. Just look at whatever you want to look at. Look at everything. But just be careful where you choose to dwell. Because that makes all the difference. 